Hi there, so like every week, I am recording this video just to talk through the previous newsletter. So this was episode in, hey there. So like every week, I am recording this video just to talk through my latest newsletter, which was number 51. It was called Emotional Avoidance and an Important Question About Fun. Now, I start off the newsletter and just go through a few things, some themes that I'm seeing <laughs> speaking to people and stuff and how a lot of people want to be better. They speak about wanting to be better, but then they, they feel guilty to even sometimes think of the things they would have to do to feel better. It's messed up. We're going into a very interesting time, uh, Christmas time. Uh, there's challenges, there's anxiety, there's financial stress, there's seasonal affective disorder, there's the looming idea of having to make goals, resolutions. So just a bit of an intro on that. I think I'm going to read one paragraph for you here. If you've been telling yourself that I'll make changes in the new year or that I just need to get through this first, then you are literally holding yourself back right now from having a better, happier, more positive, more enjoyable life. Don't wait. Get stuck in, it's time. Anyway, moving on, like I said in the newsletter here. So the first article I put in the newsletter here was, and it's on the, on the blog now, is when was the last time you had fun? I've been reading a very interesting book about having fun and how important it is psychologically, physically, mentally, or spiritually even, and the, the various things that make fun, fun. And in, in three basic terms, playfulness, connection, and flow. Once those things come together, uh, fun kind of happens. It's not something that you can always plan. It's not something you can just sit down and say, I'm gonna have fun now. You can try and you can put yourself in that situation. But I could, for example, get the same group of people every week at the same time, at the same place, we're gonna have a barbecue. Some days it'll just pop. So, however, you gotta put your ass where your heart wants to be. It's a book I'm reading as well, very good. Be, you need to be open to it. I think the saddest thing is how so many people, when they start having fun, they suddenly check themselves and they stop because it's childish or, or no, this is silly, I'm more, I'm serious. Sad, you're missing out, moving on. The, in this week's um, coaching protocol, the exercise that I give you, I speak a little bit about emotional avoidance. Now I'm gonna read a paragraph again for you here. Engaging in any form of emotional avoidance will prevent you from learning that the situation is not dangerous and it also reinforces the idea that uncomfortable or painful emotional experiences are overwhelming and intolerable. There's a lot of stuff that we do to avoid our emotions. I've got a long list for you here. Some of them include binge watching television, playing video games, social media, always a thing, um, using medication, repeatedly worrying about something, exercising too much or not at all, staying in bed, sleeping too much, skipping work, binge eating. All of these things, it's coping mechanisms, bad ones, where you do something to avoid the emotions you're going through because you're scared. And often that fear is based out of anxiety, it's based out of the uncertainty, but it's not bad for you. So I go through the exercise and give you ideas of how you can go around and about managing basically that. So that was episode 51, episode edition, 51 of the newsletter. If you wanna check it out, the link is in the description below and you can also sign up. And uh, I will see you next week for a recap, if you will, of newsletter number 52. Have a good one. Chat to you next time. Don't forget to stay awesome. Bye for now.